Hey guys, so I'm here, as he said, with the Whiz Kids. This one is the Icewind Dale Rhyme of the Frost Maiden pre-painted figurines or miniatures. Uh, this is a set that, can, that includes up to 45 figurines in each one of these boxes. I'll give a full little upscale showing of it. Uh, each one of them comes with four, four pre-painted miniatures and it's all randomized. So each box could have some of the ones you've already gotten or some of the new ones and they range in all scales from tiny to you know some big ones at you know shown on the box here like the bottom little yeti uh the techie tekeli right here i mean those are probably gonna be the bigger ones of the boxes you get about one big one every box and then three smaller ones which can vary in size from the t-tiny to you know the medium sized ones so let's get into it i'm gonna open it up here and pull everything out all right so box over there for everyone so yeah, this is the four you get. You know, your big one is usually gonna come into this. Uh, looks like we got a wolf, but I'm gonna show that up later. And so yeah, that's what about the standard box looks like, it's little baggies, and then with your large one here. So let's get into these tiny ones that we got in this box. This one is gonna be the Arctic Fox. I mean, it is not very large at all, but it is very well done, very well painted. It comes, you know, it's not just, you know, fab to white, it is, you know, has little black streaks in there on the legs, a little bit darker in the furs and the eyes and the nose, you can really pop and stand. And for being so tiny, there is a lot of detail to it. So that's the Arctic Fox, one of the you know, animals in Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, which is one of the adventure books, of course, from D&D and Wizards of the Coast. Next here, we have the Gnome Squidling. Now this is something I've never seen before. I personally have not played Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, um, but just, I mean, some of these figures that I hope to collect and get for my own personal games just look absolutely amazing. And I said they're all pre pre done. So if you're not if you're like me and you're not a painter and you're not good with that t tiny detail, uh, these will be perfect for you. And they're great pricing for what you get. Uh, but as we go, this one is uh, purple. It, it's really cool. It stands up on its like little tentacle legs there. And I mean, you can just see the details. You can see. The, what looks like a little plating on its arms as part of the, that squid gnome character. And I mean, as I said, they are just really well done. Even on its little cloak here, you can kind of see like ripples in the cloak of uh, your fabric tunic, which we call it. But yeah, that's the gnome squidling there. Next up, it looks like we have the Goliath Barbarian. And uh, this guy's actually really cool. I, I really like this guy. Um, so I'm definitely, you know, if I ever play a Goliath Barbarian, or I might just put him when I'm DMing into a game as, you know, just an NPC or, you know, someone they fight me, my, my people would fight. Um, but he's really well done. This is actually really cool. He has a little spear here, uh, you know, full on like someone from that realm would have. Wearing a little wolf cloak, which is for being, you know, just cloak on top of the Barbarian figure is, you know, it looks like an actual wolf with, you know, different layers of fur. The shield even has a you know, string attached. It really looks like it's a wood shield with, you know, leather wrapped around it as they as they would have in that kind of clan setting. But yeah, I mean, all the colors here are beautiful. You can't really tell any mixed lines. You know, just really well done paint painted fabrics there, coming from all over the place, uh, and it just look, looks really great. You know, even has a little wound on its chest. It, it's really well done. As I said, this is the Goliath Barbarian. All right, now as I said, you get one large one, and this is the large one we got today. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit on the smaller side. But even still, it looks amazing. I can get it out of the package. There we go. All right, here we have the Winter Wolf. And I'm this thing is fierce and just pure beautiful. I'm a big wolf guy. So I actually, I got this one in this box today. But yeah, I mean, the details of the fur, you know, you, it's, I mean, just intricate little details in there. You know, they have these little black dots to really accentuate the fur itself uh, and I mean the eyes are beautiful little blue just tiny little dots and this thing it looks great uh, it's, you know, decent size you know you can see the even little tiny teeth so I will say for being pre-painted I am a big fan and shout out to WizKids for what they've done here and I said this is the winter wolf I mean it just definitely looks awesome they do a really great job there's all four of them lined up with the box here uh, yeah, and I mean, as I said, each box comes with a variety of four. Uh, sometimes I've definitely seen it where you might get two of the same ones or, 
you could get, you know, any, anywhere, you know, just, they just range. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, definitely shout out to whiz kids. I love pulling them open. I love unboxing them. They're all, every single one I've seen is always really just absolutely well done painted. And I mean, for 20 bucks, this was 20 bucks at our game shop, Anubis. And I think that's about the base pricing you'll find everywhere at your local game store, wherever you find, wherever you shop, it should be right around that pricing. And, and they're just so well done. So yeah, that is Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, unboxing from WizKids. Hey, well, here we Yep, that's Icewind. And that is from our friends at WizKids. We actually purchased this one from Anubis today. We've got a bunch of boxes that WizKids has sent us. And Bradley's going to be unboxing them out here on the channel. So you've seen us unbox some of the WizKids stuff before. We'll keep an eye out because we're going to have some more unboxings of the WizKids. And thank you to WizKids. And also thank you to Game Toppers LLC for the shot of the uh, game table. That's the Great Wall uh, Game Toppers mat that we did the unboxing for. Remember to like and subscribe on the channel and you'll get notices whenever we, we post up the new unboxing videos. And until next time, les élèves bon temps roulés.